We're with Michael Lawrence, who's nominated this evening, and his gorgeous wife, Sherry. Oh. Good to see you again, Michael. So hey, Great are, to see you. Are you still doing the two shows a day? I bit, am. I am. It's been a, uh, I'm doing, yeah, Desire Under the Elms, and then running down to do Crap 39, and I do six shows on weekends, so it's a little crazy. So you, like, never get to see him. No, yeah. I don't. <laughs> well, it's all right. You get to come to this event and show off that rock and bod. Oh, my uh. God. If I wasn't a gay man. Oh, my God. <laughs> And so what is, what is the feeling of tonight? You've made it to the awards and here you are. It's just a thrill. I told I told somebody before that I haven't been nominated for a prize since my cat won a cat show. I was 11. <laughs> so this is a thrill. Oh it's really. Well, this is a little better than the cat All winning. the fancy people. It's great. It's oh really well, best of luck to you tonight. Thank and you so, so much. much fun. It's great to see you yeah. again. We're with Zoe Kazan, who's nominated for the Seagull. Hi, Zoe. So tell us a little bit about this production and, and how you, you've made it to the Drama Desk Awards, your little journey. <laughs> well, I was here last year for 100 Saints, you should know, in the same category. And um, so I already know how long this evening is going to be <laughs> and how much fun it's going to be. Um, and I, uh, I got really lucky because on The Seagull they replaced four actors from the original production and I got to replace one of the actresses. So I got to play Masha, which was a you know a girlhood dream, and I guess we got lucky. And you know the Seagull hasn't really been recognized this season, so I feel really glad to be here representing the production and and representing my co-star Carrie Mulligan, who is one of my dearest friends, and I love her very much. So I was so pleased to be nominated alongside her. So uh, being nominated two years in a row at such a young age, like how how is like what is that just kind of like emotional? feeling of oh my god again like what what is that experience like um well it's really exciting i you know i'm i feel so welcomed by the theater community in that way uh but it's also like uh you know i plan to lose for 20 years <laughs> so the susan lucci <laughs> yeah exactly i'm gonna be the susan lucci of the drama desks no, well we hope not we wish you the best of luck tonight <laughs> no i i mean honestly when you're nominating against like angela lansbury and andrea martin who i've known since i went to school with her children i went to elementary school with her kids so I've known her since I was like five years old. I'm like, let them win, <laughs> please, please, please. Because I don't want to have to explain to anyone how I actually like, you know, won against those people. I'd much rather they walk away with the award. I'm just happy to be here. Well, you're all very deserving of the nomination and, and we wish you luck. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. Take Thank care. You. We're with Frank Blocker, who's nominated for a Southern Gothic novel, which is one of the funniest shows I've ever seen in New York. Hello, darling. How are you? Uh, I'm, I'm even better now that I'm finding out I'm the funniest show you've ever seen in New York. Thank you. <laughs> it's amazing. So we talked at the nomination reception and here you are at the award show. What's going through your mind? Uh, can I get through it without falling apart? That's a little nerve-wracking, you know. You, you, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be mixed in with all those famous, important people. Well, you're important because your work is so important. So oh, tell us a, a little quickly the, the development of how this idea came to you. Uh, how it came to me? Well, it, it all started as a web serial. I was doing a writing exercise. I just wanted to learn how to write things that made you want to turn the page. And so that's kind of how I got the page turner thing going is, is literally when I put it up on the web, it filled a screen and I wanted to get you to turn the page. And magically, this thing that was never supposed to be a play years later turns into a play, a novel that turned into a play that everybody's calling my movie on stage. So uh, that's my favorite comment, by the way, is that they think it's a, a movie. My, my novel that's a play is a movie. Well, uh, really quickly, a little bit about the space, because I've never been in a theater it's quite this like big. this one. You can fit the whole thing in your camera. How did you How did you find it? Because I think it was the, the, one of the most intimate uh, New York experiences I've had. Oh, you want to hear that? You want to hear all the dark and gory details? <laughs> I'll tell you my past. Well, it's going to get a little dark. Warning. Um, last year, a little little early, uh, a little over a year ago, um, I was uh, going to be in a festival that she has there called the Left Out Festival. It's a two-week thing where she has a lot of different solo shows coming in and out. Uh, it happened to be scheduled already uh, two weeks after my partner died. And so I felt like I better do this show or I'll never be able to walk out of my house again. So I went and did the show there, and she was very supportive, and she really liked the show and kept seeing it from that point on. She said, oh, bring it back, bring it back, and then we decided, hey, why not do a run? And it seemed like my partner was kind of with me on that, and he was my dramaturg, so if you saw your uh, program, he's there in the back. So that's who he is, and, uh, and he's my original director, too. He helped me get this on, it, on its feet. We... Uh, 
you saw that it was in chapters. There's 13 chapters. And uh, we presented the first four chapters to an audience uh, just blindly and warned them, you know, it's not finished. We're just going to see. And uh, he directed me through that, and we, uh, we tried it out, and everybody had a pretty good response. But the funny thing was, as soon as we finished, we said, okay, that's all we have so far. And two or three people all at the same time went, so what happens next? And I said, I turned to Scott, and I said, I think we're going to move forward on this little project. So that's when I started uh, honing it in and turning it into a solo piece. And it was never supposed to be for me. There was supposed to be another actor take this over, and no other actor ever took this over. Well, I'm happy you got to keep working with it. Well, and I enjoy it. So, and your story is so inspiring. I oh, think. Thank you. And how much longer does it run? Uh, runs through the end of June. If I win an award, maybe it'll run longer. I don't know, but it definitely runs through the end of June on Wednesday nights at Stage Left Studio, Tiny. So get your tickets. Well, thank you so much. You're so inspiring. Oh, and well, thank you. I just love you. You're gorgeous. Well, I really appreciate everything you do for theater. We need more supporters. Thank you. Well, thank you. We're with Christina Bianca, who is nominated for Forbidden Broadway. Hi, gorgeous. You look phenomenal. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to be here. So Forbidden Broadway, it's closing this year. but It's, it's already closed, right? March 1st. But it ran for like ever in a day. How long have you been in the production? Uh, the show ran 27 years. I was with it for about 10 months. <laughs> oh, wow. So I, I, I was kind of crushed when I heard it was going to close. I kind of thought I may have a job for life, but it ended up being the best 10 months I could ever imagine and it brought me here. So no That's complaints. No complaints at all. So are there any uh, projects that you're working on currently or upcoming that we can look forward to? Um, I'm going to be doing a production of Rent up in Vermont this summer. I'm playing Maureen and Rent and uh, that's about it for now. I'm uh, looking for work. Looking for work like we all do. Well, check check out Rent in Vermont if anybody is up there. It will be a good production. Come to the Weston Theater. Come. <laughs> well, they have a good reputation. They're a great they theater. Really do. I'm very and excited. we can grab pie right behind us. Yes. Oh you have to eat the pie. No matter what you're wearing, eat the food. Eat the food. Now, who really quickly did you uh, did you kind of impersonate in Forbidden Broadway? Uh, the big one was Kristen Chenoweth, uh, Bernadette Peters, B.B. Newworth, Kelly O'Hara, Kelly Kerry Butler. So the all the big divas. All the big divas. Well, we wish you the best of luck tonight, and congratulations. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.